Welcome YouTube. This is Emperor Dion. I'm just not realizing that I haven't really made a video going in about looks maxing. So I need to address this. I, I really need to address this. Looks maxing is like a pretty big phenomenon within the black bill space. Many guys think that if they're an incel, they're going to looks max their way out of being an incel. I'm here to tell you right now, you're not going to look smack your way out of insultum. You're really not. Um, you know, look smaxing is been it's it's now the new grift. It's now the PUA's new grift in town. They're telling you, oh, if you if you look smax, or a lot of guys believe that if you improve your looks, because like it really got sold to us. Um, very, very well in the early days of the black pill that looks was the main reason keeping most guys in cell. And I do think that's some role to play into it, but I don't think that's entirely what it is. Based on my own lived experience and based on what I see currently going on, it's not really what it is. And also based on a lot of other factors, a lot of historical factors, for instance, and just in general how a man should be and what a man is. It's just not something that men do. You don't have to look smacks as a man. You know, you have a, what you should be doing as a man is maintaining a genuinely masculine and uh, neat appearance for the most part. Like you shouldn't be dirty. You should be like hygienic, but look smacksing as far as like, okay, jaw surgery, mewing, um, some of the more extreme things like surgeries, jaw surgeries and shit like this. Um, and especially like those looks maxes that go into like the medical terms where they like describing your maxilla and your, your ramus and all, all like these medical terms too. Like, first of all, why do you ask like this normie dude who's not in the medical field know this stuff? Why do you know these terms? These are literally medical terms. Are you going to med school? Why do you know these terms? You know, guys back in the day did not have to know these fucking terms. There was no looks maxing back in the day. Men just were what they were. And, you know, another thing too. Like, we have two genders in the species, male and female. Men are supposed to be fundamentally different from what a woman is. Women, if you observe women, this you know this is going to be true what I'm going to say here. So that women do focus a lot on their looks. They are very much concerned with their appearance because that's a lot of how women move and behave and get around in the world. They do it through their looks. So what's happening now is that all these young men in the black pill community are starting to act like, move like, and behave like women. Now, that that's probably my biggest criticism against looks maxing is that, yeah, you fundamentally are operating like a woman. And women do this because they're insecure. Women have a natural insecurity to them, so they look smacks. They are very concerned about this type of thing. Uh, you know, any, you just deal with any woman for any length of time, like this topic is probably going to come up at some point or another. That she's very much concerned about her appearance and, you know, do you find her physically attractive or do the guy she's interested in find her physically attractive? It's like young men today are becoming that insecure woman towards women. And you can imagine if you're a woman today and you were to run across a looks maxer, how this might make you feel because they're interested in men, dude. Like they themselves know how women are. If you run into one of these, if a woman runs into one of these looks maxers, dude, that's going to be very fucking weird. That's going to be very fucking weird to her, okay? It just is, because that's not manly behavior, like, at all. That's not manly at all, okay? And, you know, I feel like a lot of this looks maxing stuff, too, it only came about because of, uh, you know, well, Face of MLMS was the one that really drove the looks uh, thing home. And he's not incorrect. And a lot of the looks theory stuff isn't incorrect. It's just... It's not really getting at the core of it. it. I don't think it's really getting at the core of the issue. Because looking, not not looking a certain way, certainly is part of, like, women's attraction. Like, But, see, I don't think women ever were 
that physically interested in most men. I don't think they ever were. And I don't think they need to be either. Because that's a very male thing to mostly base your physical desire off of physical appearance. I don't think women really are supposed to operate that way. Women, and I, I've dealt with enough women to kind of realize this too, that women usually fall in love with what you do. Yeah, it's, it's usually an action they fall in love with. It's usually some combination of what you do for them. Um, you know, if you can ask any woman that has a boyfriend or a husband, just ask her, what do you like about your husband? She'll usually say something about what he does. And, th and this is where the answer really is right here. Because I feel like the real root of inseldom, in the West at least, is the fact that uh, women feel like most men can't do anything for them tangible they feel like most men are useless to them and so in the in the uh absence of uh the utility that men would have provided for them uh women are becoming a lot more like men in so far as that they're focusing more on the physical appearance and so you're not wrong about lookism but the entire situation itself is wrong is what i'm saying the situation of women being interested in a guy's looks itself is wrong because the world itself is wrong and this ties into the original definition of the black pill because i feel like most black pillars don't understand what the black pill is really about the black pill is about systemic issues what i'm talking about right now is getting at, at a systemic issue that there is no personal solutions to so the personal solution that people have deluded themselves into thinking is that if they looks max they can solve this systemic problem through a personal solution. But the black pill says you cannot solve systemic issues with a personal solution. So the root of this is a systemic issue. That systemic issue being that men have lost their utility to women. And in the absence of that loss of utility or that perceived loss of utility, because I do think it's more a perception than a reality that men are useless to women nowadays. But in light of that um, absence of utility in the perception of women, that is a systemic issue. And men are trying to, young men are trying to look smacks to solve that problem. And it's just not, it's just not going to. Okay. So instead of looks maxing, I think you should maintain basic hygiene. I think you should maintain a basic sense of style. That's all you need to do. In the department of looks maxing. And that's not really looks maxing. That's just like normal shit that men have always done. What you really need to do. Is take all that energy you would have focused on looks maxing. And instead focus it on what kind of utility can you provide to yourself. To others and to the world. What can you do? What can you make happen? How effective can you be in enacting your will upon the world? That is what you need to focus on. So anything that promotes and strengthens your ability to enact your will onto the world is what you need to be focusing your effort into and not fucking looks maxing. Look, making yourself look like a fucking Ken doll is gay. Yeah, you got guys out here getting the broccoli haircut. She got them out here using all kinds of skincare products. They're, they're coming out here looking like Ken dolls. They're coming out here... Looking like effeminate little femboys, basically. Are these men? No. These are insecure little boys. Because the root of looks maxing, and you can't argue with me about this, but the root of looks maxing is insecurity. That's why women do it. They'll even admit it themselves. And this is why men are doing it out of a deep-rooted insecurity. And that's most men's problem. Much more so than not looking a certain way. Men aren't supposed to be insecure. Men are not insecure in this way. Men are supposed to be men. Women are supposed to be women. There is a systemic issue that you cannot solve at the root of why women are no longer women in the West and men are no longer men. But that doesn't mean you have to fall into the same traps that men are falling into and believing that they can look smacks their way out of this situation. And so this is my message to you. Looks maxing is bullshit. 
You should not be investing into looks maxing. If you're investing into looks maxing, you've got a problem. It's telling you that you've got a problem way greater than what you look like. Okay? And that's often the case. That's often the case. Most people don't look that bad at the end of the day. Most people look average. Most people will look sexually attractive to somebody somewhere, I promise you. If they just do the bare basics of uh, hygiene and all that. And maybe a little bit of style, okay? So, that's why looks maxing is bullshit. It's effeminate. And honestly, the black pill community too has a pipeline built within it where it funnels you black pillars down into becoming gay. Because a lot of these solutions like looks maxing again are very womanly or very feminine. So, like, there's a pipeline. There's a very real pipeline that I want to talk about. About how black pillars get suckered into becoming faggots, becoming gay, turning into sissy boys, uh, femme boys. You know, if you can't get a woman, you can get it. You can become the woman, bro. I think looks maxing plays a role in this. But also, many of the solutions that get peddled to incels are things designed to make you more womanly, more feminine, less of a man. And so, don't fall into this trap of looks, Maxine, dude. Don't do it. It's not what a man historically did. It's not what you're supposed to do now. Ain't shit change. Other than the system. And well, if you want, uh, you know, personal solutions to the systemic problem that we live in, well, I'm not going to give that information out for free. But join my Discord server. Link is in the description. But for now... I'm going to sign off now and stop rambling. This has been Emperor Dion. I will see you guys later. Peace.